what's 64 squared minus 36 squared? You don't need to calculate the squares. Simply find the product of 64 plus 36 and 64 minus 36. That's 100 times 28 or 2800. This trick works for difference of squares of any two numbers. a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. But where does this formula come from? The square of any number can be thought of as the area of a square. For example, 3 squared is the area of a square with side 3 units. That's 9 square units. Similarly, a squared is the area of a square with side a units. To find a squared minus b squared, let's chop off a square with side b units from one of its corners. The remaining area must be a squared minus b squared. How do we find this area? Let's break it into rectangles. We know this side is a and this side is b. This total length was a and we subtracted this length b from it. So this side must be a minus b. Similarly, this side must also be a minus b. Let's rearrange them. Since these two sides are equal, they will perfectly align to form a bigger rectangle. Its longer side equals a plus b and its shorter side equals a minus b. So its area is a plus b times a minus b. And that's what we had to find. a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. We can verify this identity by going the other way around as well. What's a plus b times a minus b? Using the distributive property, we can multiply the first bracket to a and then to minus b. Now let's apply the distributive property again to both the terms here. a gets multiplied by a, then b. Same with the next term. Minus b gets multiplied by a and then b. So we get a squared plus ab minus ba minus b squared. ab and ba are the same and subtracting them gives 0. There you have it a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared.